please, last week we started with um, you asking us to state 10 vital statistics in your facilities and the role the midwife play in the vital statistics. From there, we move on to what a community is. And you made it to understand that a community is a social unit. That's a group of people with um, the same norms, culture, and values. We move on to community health nursing, which is a specialty. It's a, a nursing specialty that um, they, they, they take care of the, the family, the individual, and the people living in the community. We made us know who a midwife is. You said it's a professional, um, it's a person trained with the profession to be taking care of women in labor and through delivery to the birth of um, a baby. So we move on to the reproductive care. And you said it's, it's a complete physical, well-being. Yeah. And not just the absence of disease or infirmity. We continue with the adolescent sexual and reproductive health. That's um, it's an emotional, physical, and and free from unsafe abortion and STIs. So this time you mentioned some of the components of the adolescents the reproductive health and the midwife's responsibility regarding the vital statistics. So you mentioned some of the vital statistics as birth, marriage, divorce, and death. But you said we were going to concentrate on the birth and the death. So you gave us an assignment to ask of where we got our hospital target population from. Then we move on to some of the advantages and disadvantages. Population growth, where one, the individual um, population developed from birth to maturity to the end, that is death. And um, sister, we ended with the birth rate and the death rate formula. Where birth rate is the number of um, but during a particular time, multiply by a thousand and the death to the number of death in a particular period, multiply by a thousand. And Is remember that, we said, where, where will you get the total population from in yes. your community? Where will you get that information from? So he said we can get it from the information centers, from the districts, and and so on. Okay, somebody hands is up. Let me go and look for them and call them. Where would we get the total population from? Okay, so well done, Nkoma. Atama for you. You have done well. Okay, Thank you. so let's speak, um, Rebecca. Hello, sister. Good morning. Hello, dear. Good morning. You say we can also get it from our district assembly. Okay. The total of, and then our HR human resource information. Okay. Mm -hmm. I also mentioned one important thing that you are not mentioning. I say population census. Population census. Okay. So I think that one was omitted. All right. So those who couldn't join us last week. That is a quick review of what we did last week. We ended with a formula for birth rate and death rate. And we said, when people, please, are you receiving the screen sharing? Yes. yes. All right, all right. Okay. So we said, when I do it's a slideshow and I move, you, you will be complaining that it's not moving. So let me do the slideshow and see. If I go to the next slide and it's not moving, please, um, Christian and Abigail, draw my attention. Okay. All right. So um, this is the formula. Last week we ended with the formula and we said when people are dying in the community, 
we have to, after calculating the death rates and then compare it, comparing the death rate to the total population, then we have to investigate. I said, when you calculate and you leave it there like that, then you have not done anything. But when you calculate, you find out why a lot of people are dying. And especially if those who are dying are the aged, that one, we don't have a problem because we all know that as we grow, when we were talking about the population or growth, you the end result is death. But when you have majority of people dying and they are in the youth period, it means if all the youth and children are dying, then it's dangerous. Because we all know that the community or the country depends on the young ones or the youth or children to build a nation. So therefore, you as a midwife in that community, and remember I said community can be the hospital that you are working is a community. Garden City, around Garden City is a community. So don't only th think of the sub-district or don't think of only the chief zone. Where you are working can also be a community. All right. Please, my co-hosts, Christy and Abigail, please do your work for us. All right. So that is what we were discussing. So we said the moment you see that a lot of people are dying, when you do the calculation, you need to investigate what is happening. Are they dying from poor uh, health? Are they dying from poor personal mm -hmm. hygiene? Are they dying from are they dying from puberty? Are they dying from as a result that there are no health workers there to attend to them? Poor health system, or is it because of the three delays? So when you calculate the death rate, you need to investigate. So sometimes when I give you a question like that, I will tell you that comment on your answer. Comment on your answer. And you need to investigate. And if you calculate the birth rate, and the birth rate, a lot of people are giving birth, there is overpopulation in the community. Then as a midwife, you need to investigate. You'll find out that we will get there. I think we will do all that the calculation. If more people are giving birth, it means family planning services might be poor, or it may be as a result that in that community, there is a monogamy marriage there, or it may be that there is no occupation. So the only thing that they do, or no entertainment, the only thing they do is sex, sex, sex. And maybe they, that community have a portal of giving people out for marriage at an early stage. So you need to investigate and then you look at the way forward. And remember, I said, we are not learning the calculation for only exams sake. We are learning the calculation so that we'll be able to implement it in our workplace because now we are doing BSc, so we are advanced. And when we go in for our maternal audit or when we go for workshops or when we go for annual meetings, we should be able to talk and then we need to back it with research in order to acquire amenities or in order to help the people in the community. All right. Just that some people are in the way. This thing, what are they doing in the waiting room? Please, how many people are in the uh, waiting room? Mr. Isifu? This thing, I don't understand. Why are they in the waiting room? Mr. Isifu? Sister, please, they've joined different yeah. lengths. That's why. Ah, OK. I wanted to find out they do certain that people will be in the waiting room. Oh, no the in the waiting room. room. If they are in the waiting room, they've gone to a wrong meeting. Oh, okay. Course reps, please. I think this is what we can do to help everybody. You remember, we are dealing with formulas. Though the recordings are there, but if we don't understand the formula, it will be very difficult. So what you do is that anytime you have a class, just take a screenshot like I have done on Telegram. If that is the case, then I think we should go back to our WhatsApp page because it will look like most people are not on Telegram. So what I will do is that just after the class, I'm going to divide the WhatsApp page so that um, A, B, C, I'll create and then you will join because I think that one will help. Just take a screenshot of what we have and give them just the link, okay? I think it will help everybody and they're joining different, different groups, okay. 
please, I think we can move on. Are we ready? All right, so let's move on to, I'm going to the next slide. So if you can't find it, draw my attention. Are you receiving the next slide? No. All right. Okay, what about now? Yes, it's in. All right, so please, it's not 10 minutes. So today we don't have much time, so it's two minutes. All right, so let's start the calculation. Please send your answers to me in the chat box like we have been doing always. You send your answer and then you send your index number attached to your answer. Okay, so let's do the calculation. So, um, Sister Abigail, can you read for us? The total number of deaths in 2019 in Community A was 850, with a total population of 9,000. Calculate the death rate of commun for Community A. Okay. Two, the total number of deaths in 2019 in Community A was 450, with a total population of 9,000. Calculate the birth rate for community A. Three, comments on your answers. Time allowed two minutes. All right. Okay, so we are doing that. I'll be back in two minutes time. I'll be checking your answers in the chat box, please. All right, so I think it's time. It's time, the two minutes is up. Please, can we get someone to solve it for us? Please, can we put up your hands? Can we get someone to solve it for us? And then, and please take the formula first. Anybody to solve it for us? Can we put up your hands, please? All right, so I have Julie. Is it Julia? Julia. And that's number A77. Okay. Please, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, sister. Yes, sister. All right. Yes, Please, your full name. Your full name. Yes, sister. Your network is very bad. Your full name? Oh. Let me pick another person yeah. and, and then get a stable Sister. network. Can you hear us now? All right, let me pick another person. Your network is very bad. Let me pick um Faustina. Hello. Christina. Yes. The total number of death rates is eight. eight. Question one. And the formula is the eight. number of death over the total oh, population. What is happening? There's too much noise. I don't know who is even talking to. Hello. This is Faustina Bra. But some of the microphone too is off on. Yes, Faustina. Okay. I said the formula for the death rate is the total number of cases over the total population times thousand. Which cases? The total number of which the, cases? The total number of death. Okay. Over the total population times thousand. So the total population the number of death is eight fifty divided by the nine thousand times thousand. So you will get ninety four. Please hold 4. on. I'm coming. All right. Let's go. Uh, the total uh, number of death cases is 850. 850. Divided by the 900. Divided by 900. Times 1,000. Times 1,000. And the answer will be 94.44 going. So you get 94%. 94 point what? 44. 94.44. Uh -huh. Okay, so you can and leave your answer either in two decimal place or four yeah. decimal place. So if okay, I'm listening. No, 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 Julia, I'm, I'm listening. Okay, I'm so listening. you have 
94.444 to them because it's not up to five so you will leave it like that you can't run it so and you leave it like we have uh, uh, 94.44 but you are not done with yes. the answer that is why i'm waiting okay then the, the next question that is the uh, birth rate that one too is person you are not done with the answer hello we are it's not but you are not done Ninety-four point okay. four four per thousand. Remember, per thousand. Per thousand what? Ninety-four point four four. Per thousand what? Per thousand. The birth. Are you? Per thousand Hello? population. The thousand population. <laughs> Hello. You are calculating death rate, right? Death, the death rate is 94.44 per the thousand population. Per thousand death. You are calculating not death rate that we are calculating. Uh, per, okay, per thousand death. All right, so explain your answer. That means my, my explanation will go like the, the number of death cases is, is high. It's higher than when you calculate the number of death cases. So it means we have so ninety four point four four people dying out of thousand. Out of thousand, of the total the, thousand yeah. population, every thousand population, you have ninety four point four four people dying, isn't it? Yes, yes. Sister. All right. So let's let's go to the next one. The next one is uh, the the birth rate, and the birth formula rate. two is uh, the birth rate. Eight formula okay. is the number of births divided by the number of population times thousand all right when we calculate we had 50. okay so we have 54 birth per day Wait, so uh, give me the figure you know i'm doing it so that those who are following can follow so what will be the figure okay. the, the 450 divided by nine thousand times thousand 450 Yes. Sit on rushing so that people can follow you. Divided okay. by, so the 450 is the, the number of births, isn't it? The number of births divided uh -huh. by 9,000. That and is the, the 9, number of population. The population. The population times the, the thousand. All right. Mm. Mm. And it gives 50. Uh, uh, the answer is 50, sister. You are not done with the answer. <laughs> 50 per what? Per thousand. 50 per, not per thousand. Thousand, so thousand per. Thousand, thousand, thousand per. Thousand per. Mm -hmm. So it means out of every thousand women who will come or to your facility to deliver in the community or your hospital, yeah. The thousand, some can be deliver in the house, some may deliver in at the TV, some will deliver in your facility. Out of thousand okay. deliveries, you know, we have 50, isn't it? Yes, sister. So, see, please explain your answer now. <laughs> this is the uh, it's, it's not as simple, how to explain it. So, now. <laughs> no, no, so, when you take the total population of the community, we have mm. okay when we talk about the birth rate, when we talk about, about every uh, thousand population, we have 50 of them delivery, like the same as the death rate. So now comment on your answer. So let's our the first one, death rate. You are not done with the formula, so don't go. Now the birth rate, death rate, we have 94. 94.44, isn't it? Yes. Uh -huh. And then the mm -hmm. birth rate, we have 50. 50. Okay, so comment on your answer. Uh, my comments, the number of death rates is more than the number of birth rates. That means there are more people dying than the, the, those that... Hello. On your answer as a midwife. Per, yes. Per oh, my oh, should, somebody should come and help you. 
I have me. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, the person who hands is up as well as will. Please, anybody comment on your answer. Please. Uh -huh. They have the same thing. Comment on your answer. Somebody should come and help Sister Faustina. Now we have the death rate. Okay, so I have Kasim. Kasim, your index number is not attached to your name. Okay, then. Kasim, your index number is not attached to your name. Remember when you yes. comment in class, you get a mass. Oh, okay. I'll I'll add it. All right. So Sister, let's Sister, please. Mm -hmm. It means that the number out of uh, the total population, when you pick the total population in the community, you are going to get 94.44% mm -hmm. of percent of the people dying and 50% of the people giving birth. And, and in total, it means that the number of death rates is higher than the number of birth rates. So at the end of the day, the total population will reduce drastically than it's increasing. That's how I understand, thank you. But you're not done with your answer. If I ask you to comment on your answer, you are not done. Okay, thank you, let me pick another person. Dockers. Oh, Dokas is gone. Um, is it Atta? Yes, sister. Yes. Okay, thank you, sister. Uh, please, with the comment um, from our answers, there is a high death rate than the birth rate in the sense that people are dying more due to the number of uh, the aged being more in the community. And then there is a low birth rate as a result of increase in the usage of family planning uh, methods. That's what I will comment for my answer. All right, thank you. Let me pick the last person. Um, is this Asiedu? Oh no, Asiedu. Yes, yes. Madam, for my comments, it means that in the year- Sister Boyma is the name. Yeah, okay. Sister Waima, please uh, tell my comment. In the year 2019, comparing death rates and birth rates uh, per thousand, it means that 99.44 per thousand um, is higher than the birth rate of 50, 50 per thousand, which means that death rate in 2019 is higher than that of birth rate. Thank you. All right, I think, okay. So like you were saying, you all have all tried, but um, when you are, we are, you are asked to comment on your answer, okay? For example, you have gone for an annual meeting and then you are asked to come and give a statistics on the death rate and the birth rate in the community that you are working in as an in-child. Now you have to subtract the death rates from the birth rate. And when we subtract, we are getting 44.44, isn't it? When you subtract the death rate, so you the, you subtract death rate. Please, I'm writing on the screen. Are you seeing the writing? Yes, sister. No. Yes, no. sister. You are seeing it? Yes, sister. Okay. <laughs> so you subtract the birth rate from the death rate. And when we subtract the birth rate from the death rate, then what will be the difference? 44. The point. What the difference is 44.4. Minus 94.44. So it will, will be left with minus, isn't it? Minus 44.44. Isn't it? Yes, please. Please, are you following? Yes, 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 sister. Good. sister please. And it's means death rate by minus the death rate or the death yes, rate minus. Because birth rate is the positive one and the death rate is the negative one. So the birth rate sister, minus the death rate. Okay. When you subtract, so minus when you subtract, subtract the birth rate. Hmm? Like the formula is on the board. So when you subtract, you get 44. Then it means a lot of people are dying than those who are giving birth. And the difference of those, the death rate is... So when we are commenting on your answer, bring the difference. Then two, you need to go and investigate. 
you cannot just say the aged are dying because the death rate, if we look at the question, they didn't specify that the death rate is the aged or children under five or those around 20, 20, 20 to 50 years. No. So you need to go and investigate and find out from the death and birth registration or to find out from those who are dying. Are they the aged? If they are the aged, fine. But if they are in the youth, then you need to investigate why are they dying? Are they dying from road accident? Maybe they don't have good source of water. There's no KVIP in the community. And so they defecate open, open defecation anywhere. Or is it that, uh, what do we call? They will have a poor socioeconomic status in the community. So you find out, you need to investigate why they are dying. So you cannot just say, oh, those who are dying, they are the, how do we call, they are the aged. No. Okay. Now, people prefer to use another calculation. It's still the same. The Sister, true death please. rate and then the true death rate. Sister. Okay. Please, can you put up your hands? I beg you. You know, we are recording the class. So if you have any question, type in the chat box or you put up your hands. All right. Okay, so hey, this name, is it, uh, is it, um, Sister, you've muted yourself. This name, I remember. Index number 616. Asana. Madam. Sister Boyma please. is the name. Asana. Madam, please. Sister Boyma is the name. Sister Boyma. Ah, yes. Please, the bed rate minus the dead rate. If you if you subtract it, you already said the, the death rate is a negative figure. Yes, because we don't want anybody to die. Okay. You know, death is not a positive thing. Please, are you with me? Yes, please. Hmm. So when you subtract it, you are getting a, a negative figure. Mm -hmm. negative. So that tells you that the negative figure you'll be getting, that tells you that there is something wrong and you need to go and investigate. No, oh, okay. So, for example, if you calculate and you the birth rate were, was more than the death rate, you get a positive figure. Please, are you with me? Yes. Uh -huh. So, that tells you that, oh, more people are, it means people are not dying. But to ask midwives, we need to still go and investigate why there are a lot of people are giving birth. Okay. Thank you. Do you get it now? Yes. I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's quickly look at, like I said, other people. Vida, the last person, please. Vida. Sister, sister, please, can you elaborate on the third point, the number three, please? Which number three? The conclusion. The conclusion is that the figure that you get, you don't just leave it there like that. You need to go back and investigate in the community. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So like I said, people prefer to use the crude birth rates. And then people also prefer to use the crude death rates. It's the same. They are all statistics values used to measure death and then birth. So this one, I think we will can jump this one and then go to another activity of the day. Since we now understand death rates and birth rates and we can comment on our answer. Okay, so now let's look at the factors that influence population growth. Okay, so we are still on the course content. What are some of the factors that influence population growth? And the first one is fertility, mortality, and then migration. Okay, so we have a class discussion. And the class discussion that we have is what is fertility what is fertility please 
If you have any contribution, kindly put up your hands or type in the chat box if you want to contribute. What is fertility? Because we said fertility also increased population and we have done the calculation of birth rate now. So what is fertility? Hello, Esther. Esther. Sister, please, my hand was for Esther. Please, my hand was for um the 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 calculation we did earlier. Hey, and they didn't ask your question now when we have got into fertility. So you answer the fertility after that you bring please, us your my, question. My, my my hand was I raised my hand just that you didn't call me, please. Okay. So you answer the fertility, then Before you ask your question. The last question I have okay. Please come again. Answer the question for us. So what is fertility? Fertility. Yes. Children born um to women during their reproductive years. All right. So what was your question? So I was saying, I wanted to know that the last um on your when you were concluding. You said that we subtract the birth rate from the death rate. The what? If I'm getting it right. You said that in conclusion, we subtract. I heard that you said we subtract the birth rate from the death rate. So I I wanted to know if I had it right. Because if that is what you said, that means we are rather subtracting um, 50 from 94.4, which will be a positive something. If you are getting negative, that means that we are subtracting the death rate from the birth rate. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so, Esther, did you join us from the beginning? <laughs> somebody should help Esther. Somebody should help Esther so that if we do that, we can progress. That's why I want us to join the class on time. Can somebody help Esther? Well, it looks like Esther, Esther is lost. There are so many people hands is up. So when now, you can I just talk. Aha. Uh -huh. So please help Esther for me. You can talk. The person wants to help Esther. Sister, Esther. Yes, sister. Please. Um. Please. Good morning. You said that. Please, you the, said that. So the, the death rate is rather a negative figure because no one wants death. So it's a negative figure, but the death rate is a positive. So if you are taking a negative and positive, eventually you are going to get a negative figure because the death rate is higher than the birth rate. So that is how come we got the negative figure. Esther, please do you understand. Esther Nami? Yes, yes. So Esther, like they are saying, you subtract the, the subtraction is birth rate minus death rate. And when we did the calculation, our birth rate was 50. So 50, and then the death rate was 44.44. So 50 minus 94.44, you end up getting a negative figure. And that is not a good sign for your community where a lot of and I said, as a midwife, if we're working in such a community, you need to go back. Back and do your investigation. So I hope you are okay. All right. Esther, are yes, you okay? Sister, yes, sister. But from your statement, uh, from the statement, the form, the birth rate from death rate. Subtraction of the birth rate from the death rate. So we are subtracting the 50 from the 95. But if it's from the death, uh, death rate from the birth rate, that means that we are subtracting, we are subtracting 94.44 uh, from the 50. And that will, that's where we get I didn't the say that. I even wrote the formula on the board. I did not say that. The formula was even displayed on the board, and it was BR minus DR. Are you with me? Yes, that's why I'd I'd i wanted to get that um, that clarification. If that All is right. what I heard, that's it. Uh -huh. So you get Thank it you. now. 
Yes, please. So Thank always you. subtract the birth. You see, birth, people giving birth is a positive sign. More than giving birth, it's a negative sign in for a community. Okay. All right. So please, can I see those who want to answer the question for me? Rita. Rita. Hello, Rita. Oh. Okay. All right. So let me look for the next person. Leticia. Leticia. Hello, Sister Waima. Yes, Please, yeah, good, morning. Go. good morning. Please, let's fertility, go. fertility is the number of women in their childbearing age, the ability of women in their childbearing age to conceive. Okay, so what are some of the factors that influence fertility, female and male fertility? Age. Age and lifestyles. All right, thank you. You're welcome, sister. All right, so let me pick the next person. Millicent. Hello, Millie. Millicent. Millicent. Kakraba. Okay. Selena. Yes, sister. Yes, dear. Yes, please. I also say that fertility is the ability of an individual or couple to conceive. And I also mention a way as a factor that influences fertility in as much that if a woman is overweight or um low weight, a lower weight or a TMI or less than 18 or above 10, it reduces the chance of All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, so like you are all saying, Please, can you put your hands down? We are going to say somebody wants to ask a question that can identify the person. You know we are many. So fertility in short is the ability of couples to achieve pregnancy after 12 months of regular unprotected sexual intercourse. Please, um, co-host, please, can you do your work for me, Christine and Abigail? All right, so when we, that is the definition for fertility. So when we talk about fertility, you having regular sex, unprotected sex, continuous one for 12 months, and are not able to achieve pregnancy, then we classify those couples as having fertility problem. Okay. Then we said, what are some of the factors that influence fertility? For the female, factors that influence fertility for the female is your ability to get adequate hormone to maintain pregnancy. When you have a healthy endometrium for implantation, when the Philippian tube is patent, and then you have healthy ovaries to produce a normal ova. Mr. Please, the slide is not showing. No, this one we are discussing, so there is no slide. Okay. Then you be yeah. free from sexual transmitted <laughs> infection. Sounds more. And then factors that influence the male fertility. Please say, when you have anything, you just type for me in the chat box or put your hands up for us. Okay. So that when we put the report in there, everybody will be able to enjoy. Because today there is too much noise. So the co-host, please, can you do your work? I beg you. Okay, so factors that influence male fertility. 
like you have mentioned, your ability to have a functional sperm. So for example, if for example, the male has low sperm count, it means fertility in that community, if we're working in a community where a lot of, most of the males in that community have a problem with low sperm count or poor sperm mobility, it means the fertility there will be very low. Or when we're working in a community whereby most of the females there has um, has been diagnosed of block two, fallopian tube, then it means getting pregnant natural will be very difficult for those there. And the fertility level will be very, very, very low. But when we are working in a community where the fertility level is very, very high, okay, it means the population in that community will be very high. So it means to be able to achieve fertility or pregnancy, then both the man and then the woman should be healthy. And that is what we were discussing under the reproductive health. But if you look at some of the social factors, education. Now, if you are, people are going to school and the more people, especially the girl child is going to school, it means we want to attain a higher degree, someone to do master, someone to do PhD. So it means it will delay fertility. So if you have a community like that and more people are going to school, then it means the fertility level in that community will be very high. But if you go to a community like when we started a class on the first day, and a lot of people are not going to school, okay? They are just roaming around. They are not learning a trade. The only thing they do to survive is sex for money, okay? So at the end, such a community, the pregnancy rate there will be very high and the fertility rate there will also be very, very high. Then family planning. So social factors such as family planning. If the people in the community, they are practicing family planning or they have accepted family planning method in that community because some of the communities, when we are working there, they don't accept family planning. So if we're working in a community who accept a family planning method, then it, you, 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 you can see that those communities that have accepted family planning method, the fertility rate in that community will be very, very low. Then religion and customs. So if we're working in a community whereby they accept multiple, uh, what do monogamous marriage, you can marry more than two wives, 10, five, six. It means the fertility because there will be a challenge. Everybody wants to give birth to their husband for the husband. So the fertility rate will be very, very high. Okay. So some, these are some of the factors that influence fertility. So we, we need to calculate Please the fertility over rate. Eight. We need to calculate the fertility rates. We have learned how to calculate the birth rate. But we as midwives, when we are working in a community, please, all of those who are typing for me in the chat box, please, you can also read from the chat box. So many people are giving good answers there. I'm following and I'm taking notice of those who are contributing in the chat box. Okay. So we said some of the factors like education, family planning, culture or religion affects social fertility rates. Then we said having a healthy ovaries, patent service, healthy endometrium, and then the male too having to be able to produce sperms, healthy sperms, and then being free from STIs, having a normal reproductive tract. All those factors influence the reproductive system of male and female in the community. All right. So therefore, we are going to calculate fertility rates. This is the number of live births in women over a specific length of time. Okay. So when we talk about now that we know that ability of couples to achieve pregnancy, when you have regular unprotected sex for 12 good months, okay? 
Therefore, we as midwives, we should be able to calculate the fertility rate. And so fertility rate is the number of live births in women over a specific period of time. So how many live births? Okay, so we are going to look at, for example, how many, in a community A, how many people there, what is expected of you if we are supposed to go through the normal reproductive age? How many number of deliveries for each female in that community? So we are going to do the calculation for that. And then from there, we will be given an assignment to go and calculate in our fertility, our facility. All right, so we said fertility rate is expressed as the number of births per thousand women age 15 to 44 in a calendar year. So when you are done, NYS, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry. When you are done and you are expressing your answer, you should express your answer as per the number of births per thousand women age 15 to 44 in a calendar year. Okay, all right. So that is what we are going to do. Hmm. My slide is not moving again. Okay, so now it's moving. So we are going to look at the total fertility rates. And when we talk about the total fertility rate, we are talking about the number of live births to every woman in a, in, in a community. So when we finish, I think you understand better. You remember when we were starting the, this course, I told you that we are going to do something that is not different from what we have been doing in the world. Okay. So when we are done with the calculation of the total fertility rates, then we'll be able to know the average number of children that will be born alive to women during their lifetime in a specific age interval. So to be able to calculate the total fertility rate in a community, then you should be able to calculate the age specific fertility rate. Because if you don't know the age specific fertility rate, it will be very difficult for you to calculate the total fertility rate. Please don't worry, eh? I'm taking my time. We will get it and we will get there. So I said to be able to calculate the total fertility rate, you should be able to calculate age specific fertility rate. Without the age-specific fertility rate, you will not be able to calculate the total fertility rate. Please, are you with me? Yes, sister. Yes, sister. Yes, so please, can you go back to the TFR? Please. Hello, Sir Boyma, please. The line was breaking. I couldn't I couldn't get to work, please. Sir, please, you have muted yourself. Hey, so are you? I was talking and I have muted myself, sorry. So I was saying that what is age specific fertility rate? Age specific uh, fertility. Remember, I said, uh, please, uh, who follow me? Uh, please uh, please uh, follow me. To go back. Oh, take cool down, cool down, temper, cool down, temper. <laughs> Hello, just no, no, cool down. Hello, just a one man. Everybody should calm down. Sister Guanima, please, so we beg. You know it's calculate. Mama, so take I said your time calm and take down, us to calm bed. down. You will get yeah. it. Calm down. You just calm down. Sit cool and follow me. Like I said, it's not anything different from what we are doing in the world. And if you have any question, you can put up your hands or type in the chat. You just calm down and follow me. Don't rush. 
Are you with me? We are not doing anything different from what we have been doing in the world. So you just calm down. All right. Then we said to be able to calculate age specific fertility rate. Remember, what is we have done fertility. So we now understand fertility now. Ability of you to achieve pregnancy with regular unprotected sex for 12 months. Within the 12 months, you should be able to achieve pregnancy. And then we have looked at the male factors, female factors, and some of the social factors. So we want to calculate the fertility rate for the community that we are working in. Okay. And then we are saying, then we need to know the total fertility rate. But we cannot, if you look at the formula for total fertility rate, we need to calculate a specific fertility rate first before we can calculate the total fertility rate for the community. And so we are going to look at the total, uh, we are going to look at the age specific rate first. And when we talk about age specific rate, it is defined as the number of live births, okay? The number of live births, if we look at the formula, you see it. The number of live births per thousand, per thousand women in a specific age group. That is why the name is age specific. So the number of live births to women in a specific age group over the number of women in the same specific age group multiplied by 1,000. And we said the age specific fertility rates are done in five years age group interval. They are done in five years age group interval. Others prefer to use seven years, but most of them is within the five years age interval. Therefore, how do we get the age specific fertility rate interval? How do we get it? We can get it from our delivery book. And then the total population, the total population, we can get it from the our records or the population census, or we can even get it from the district assembly. And I've already taken you through where you can get your data to do your calculation. And it's, I think somebody picked this one as a reset topic. Okay, so let's go back. Hey, uh -huh. I'm trying to ask for a hey. Okay, so let's go back. Now, somebody should kindly put up your hands and give me, I want somebody in the labor ward. Those who are working in the labor ward, can somebody put up her hands? We want to learn how to calculate the age specific group. Anybody working in the labor ward? I need somebody who is working in the labor ward. Hey, please, who are, I need somebody who is working in the labor world. Oh, I should mention names. I, <laughs> I can say. Anybody working in the labor world or you people have ever worked, we are all midwives. Oh, please, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, it's me. Remember, yes, when you contribute in class, you have a mark. Okay, Rita. Yes, sister. All right. So you are working in the labor world, right? I am all around. Both okay. hey. in the labor world. Who is crying at your back? It's my baby. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I think you have to attend to your baby. Give oh, her please, a please, of please, please. All right. So. Take us through your delivery book. What do we see in your delivery book? Okay, we have deliveries under the age from 10 to 14, then 15 to 19, 
I want to write. So let's go. Hey, I'm writing. Okay, ten to fourteen years. Hold on. So you see, you remember I told you that we are not doing anything different from what we have been doing in the world. Just that when our in charges are doing the calculation, we don't go and then look at what they are doing because we think we are not in charges. So you have number one. What do you have? Ten to say. Ten to fourteen. Ten to fourteen. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fifteen to nineteen. Fifteen to nineteen. Hey, my handwriting. Can you see? Yes. Hey, so you have people ten years giving birth uh, in your facility. Between that age, so we have okay. 13, 14. Yeah. Hey, 13, 13, 14. 13, 14. Yeah, things have changed. Okay, number three. My handwriting is not good. Uh -huh, number three. 19 to 24. 19 to 24. Yes. Number four. 25 to 29. 25 to 29. Then 30 to 34. 30 to 34. Okay. Then we have 35 and above. Oh, you don't have a specific range, just 35 and above. Yes, sister. So, for example, uh, number six, maybe 34 to 39. Okay. That is no, what your is 35 and above. Oh, don't worry. It's let me leave it there like this. Uh, let me leave it there like this. So, um, how do you get the total population for ten to fourteen? The total population. Yes. We strike it from um the the wifi that they give us. So we take it from RCH. We take the total RCH. population from RCH. Yes. So um, so the ten to fourteen. Um, so the wifi is supposed to be four. All this is supposed to be under the four percent of the total population. Four percent of total population in week from where? In my catchment area. Okay, so where do you, your catchment area? Everything is given to you from the RCH, from right? From the district health directorate. Yes. So you have so, so you they strike it. it and give it to. All right. Yes. So you know you are doing you are calculating age specific fertility rate. Did you know? Yes, yeah, sister. For what you are telling us now, I've realized that is what we are doing. You realize? Okay. So when I'm done, <laughs> yes. do the calculation. So you see, I told you we are not doing anything different from what we were doing in the world. Just that we didn't know, or. Uh, even if we know, uh, when our in charges are calculating, we don't go and look at what we are they are doing because we are not in charges. It's not anything different. Now, uh, don't go, Rita. You remember I said the okay. age specific fertility rate is done with five years interval. Do you remember? Yes, sister. So let's look at it. Me... So you okay. ten. So when we are starting number one, it will be mm. you add a ten. So ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. So from the 10, where the starting point, you always add the 10. Because you include those who, who, who will come and deliver and they are and they are 10 years. Are you with me? Then from yes. there, let's go to the point two. 10 plus 5 will give you 15. Yes, sister. Then 14 plus 5 will give you 19. Yes. So you have you seen that you were adding five years adding the five five so it means in your facility that's why i say most of them they use the five years interval yeah so now you understand now are you an in charge <laughs> no i'm not saying but i write the report every month okay so now you understand the report better yeah all right can we pick a different person to give us the delivery book I want to calculate for you. Thank you, Rita. Anybody working in the labor world?
please come out and give me your delivery book. It will make you understand better, please. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, please. Um, wa Tamale Takradi, who are those working in the labor world? You just come out. I just need your delivery book. Oh. Today, you are not making the class interesting at all. <laughs> okay, Ganza. Sister, sister, please, it's the same age group in the delivery book. We use the same thing. Okay, I want those in their facility. When you look at the delivery book, there is no age group. I want to teach you how to put the age group also. Can I get those people? We saw some, some of the delivery book, when you open, you only have the age of the mother. Are you with me? So the age of the mother is the only one that is there. And there is no age group at all. I want somebody like that so that you also learn how to calculate the age group. This one, they have done it for us, but we should be able to also know how to calculate. Can I get someone like that, please? That's in your delivery book. Okay, eat it. Sister, good morning. Good morning, dear. Please, in the delivery register, we have the name of the mother, the community, the age of the mother, the occupation. Sister, but with okay, the age, uh -huh, but with the age groups like that, we have it on the report format, the form A. But in the delivery register, we don't have the age groups being but you have the, like that. But you have the age of the mother. Yes, we have the age of the mother. Good. The name I like of the that. Mother. It's okay. It's okay. Child. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So you are you in the you are you are in the labor world. So give me when you open to if you want to sometime they will give you this. But when you open the so, age oh group, are you with me? Yes, sister. Uh -huh. You look at the for example, if I ask you to go and calculate for the age specific rate in your facility for 2022, that was last year. I can even ask you to calculate for from January to March. So let's take it for example. Let's take it uh, last year. Then when you open your delivery book, you look at the aging tab. That is what we do to do the aging. So I'm going to teach you how to do the age group. We said we are using how many years? Please, is everybody with me? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. So we said we are using the five years. That is what is mostly used. Okay, five years interval. Now, if you, how do you get the age group? Other facility, they have it already. But if you are working in a facility that you don't have the age group interval, then what you have to do is to pick the age group. So you look at the delivery where we have the age. That is why when somebody come and deliver, we write the name of the mother, the, the age of the mother, the sex of the baby, in that in our delivery book in the labor world. So you pick the lowest age, the lowest age, and then the highest age. So now, um, Edith, give me, look at your 2022. The, the youngest person who came to deliver in your facility, give me the age of that person. 15 years. 15 years, good. Yes. Then you write it down. Please forget, um, I can't find my pointer, so I'm using my hands. Okay, then give me the older person who came to deliver in your facility, 2022. 46 years. 46 years. This will become your specific age interval. Edith, do you understand? Do, please, everybody, do you understand? Yes, yes. No, 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 the younger person who came to deliver in her facility, and he said 15 years. 
Then I asked Edith again, what about the older person? And he said 46 years. And I'm putting them in a range. So 15 to. So this one is the younger person. Plus five, 20. Hey, and then this is the older person. I'm sorry. What Russia? in Russia. Okay. So hey, I read it. And I mean to be called I mean to be called as in two. I swear. I read it. I mean, hey, you are in the third week. This is the younger person. And then this is the older person. That is Edith. Edith, please, are you with me? Yes, sister. Uh -huh. So, Edith, in your facility, you don't know your age interval. So, you are going to learn how to calculate the age interval. Please, are you with me, Edith? Yes, sister. Please, I'm here. Uh -huh. So, those who are working, you go to your labor ward, you pick the delivery book, you look at the younger person who came to deliver, and then the older person who came to deliver, and you put them in an interval, 15 to 46. Then you are now coming to look for the age interval for them. I don't know why I can't find my pointer. Okay. So, Edith, are we ready to go? Yes, sister. Everybody, are we ready to go? So, let's do the calculation for the age interval. Then we said every hospital... Mostly, we are using five years interval. Please, are you with me? Five years interval. Okay. Yes, sister. Okay. Hey, please, those who are writing on my screen. So, Sister Edith gave us the age interval to be 15 in her facility, and then 46 or... Uh -huh. Okay, then we want to put it in an age interval. Okay, so we will start with number one, 15 years. And then we said each facility we are using five years interval. Um, I think Rita, Rita, you are lucky in your facility, they have given you the age interval, so you don't have a problem. But we also have to learn how to get the age interval. Now, Let's, we said five years interval. When we are starting, we will include the 15 years. So let's count. Count with me. 15, 16, 17, 17 18, and then 19. 19. So it will be 15 to 19. That is our first age interval. Then we are going to the second age interval then the second age interval we are using five years so as for the second age interval just add five years to just add five yeah. years to the 15 so if we add five years to the 15 you then we are nine. getting 20 20 or 19 20. somebody say 19 20. 20. Hey, I say. okay 20. then add five years to the 19 24. We are getting 20. 24. Okay. Okay. Can somebody give me the point three? 25 to 29. 25 to 29. Please don't rush. Others are following. Please. Okay. Then number four. 30. One person at a time. One person at a time. Let me look at who's on the line. Eat it. Okay, one person at a time. Okay, so 32. 34. 34. Please, please, who is, please don't disturb us. We are doing calculation. We beg. Then point five. 35, 35, 39, 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39
It is why. Yeah. Because the age limit is up to 46. Good. So because the age limit is 46. 45 to 49. Good. So if we leave it at 40 to 44, we will not be able to capture the 46. But when we go to the seventh point, 45 to 49, we are able to capture the 46. 46. So we won't continue on again. So Edith, this will become your age interval for your facility that you are working in. Yes, sister. Is it difficult? No. No, sister. That when no. our charges are doing, we don't go and look at it. Because we, we know we will not... It's not important. Please, somebody is writing on my screen. All right. So, Edith, are you with me? We are not done yet. Yes, sister, I'm with you. Okay. So, now, when you do your age interval like this, then you now rule your line. Then you give me the total bet. Um, so, give me the total bet, live bet. The total bet for those within this age interval, 15 to 19. Give it to me. 15 to 19, we have two. So where will you get it from? You will count it from your delivery book, isn't from it? From the delivery register. Okay, from the delivery register. So two, I'm writing. 20 two. to 20, uh, 20 to 24, 20 to 24. we have 20. Mm -hmm. 20, mm -hmm. Then we have 25. To the that 29. 25 to 29, we have 25 deliveries. Okay. 30 mm -hmm. to 34, we have 15. 15. Mm -hmm. 35 to 39, we have 12. 12. Mm -hmm. 40 to 44, we have one. One. And then 45 to 49, we have two. Two. Yes, please. I hope they didn't get any condition like Down syndrome. No, please. It okay. was a uh, preeclampsia. Oh, okay. Because yes. of the age. All right. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Are you the in charge there? Yes, you please. You are the in charge? Okay. Yes, please. Mm. So, please allow, allow her. So we are in the age interval. And then here is the bet, live bet. Okay. So give us, give to you, don't uh, eat it. Don't leave us. We are not done with you. So give us your total population. Where do you get your total population from? We get it from the HI. Or oh, the okay. district, uh, the district health directory. All right. So the fifteen to nineteen from population sources from HI or from your records in the hospital. Can you give us the age interval, the total population between the age fifteen to nineteen in the community? Please, for the population, is is just divided by the WIFA and uh, under five and those things. But they didn't. Yeah, so, so give us the yeah. figure. Give us the figure. Okay, the figure for the Wi-Fi is 589. No, you do you do the calculation and give it to us because we can't calculate now. So mm -hmm. maybe give us that they are maybe in the community, 15 to 19, they are maybe a hundred or fifty. Give us do the total calculation and give us the population. <laughs> okay, so so we know where you get your total population from. So, for example, maybe those in the 15 to 90, they are 80. Okay. And then 20 to 24, maybe they are 100. And then this um, 25 to 29, maybe they are 120. Then 30 to 35, for example, maybe they are 155. Then 35 to 39, they are, for example, uh, 200. Then uh, 40 to 44, they are 250. 
then 45 to 49, they are 300. And that is the total population of those within this age group. And I said we will get it from either our records or populations or the district as well. Okay. Please, no, please, somebody, I co host, please help me out. There's too much noise. All right. Sister, so, my line took me off, so I'm no more the co host after rejoining. Okay, so where is Christian? Christian tree is off. All right. My run. Okay, then Christian, you're not doing your work today. I'm doing it. All right. Okay, so this so this information is given to me from one of your colleagues. Remember, we are not doing anything different from what we are doing in the world. Uh, just that we don't, when our in charges are calculating, we don't look at what is going on. All right, so let's look at the formula now that we have the data. So if I ask you to go and calculate the age-specific fertility rate in your facility, for me, from January 1st January to 31st December 2022, and that is going to be an assignment. So if I give you that, then this is the formula. The number of live births, mm, the number of live births to a woman in a specific age group over the number of women in the same age group multiplied by thousand so let's go back to this one so now we have the total population we know our total population now so we are we are asked to do the calculation and with the calculation that we we are asked to do the age specific age specific fertility rates and so if we are asked to calculate age specific fertility rates then we said is the total number of live births. So here, if you look at it, the total number of live births is two, and then the total population is 80 times 1,000. Yes, what will be the answer? 25. Please, are you calculating with me? What will be the answer? 25. 25 per 1,000 per 1,000 bet. Are you with me? Yes. yes. 25 per 1,000 bet with women in the age interval 15 to 19 years. Okay. So 25. Please, I'm lost. Yeah. Please. I, 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 I didn't get it. Please. Okay, don't worry, you will get it. We are calculating more, so you just follow us. Okay, so we are going to the number two. We said to calculate the age interval, somebody should do the calculation for us. I think I should leave it for you to do. We said the number of live births with women in a specific age group over the number of women in the same age group multiplied by 1,000. Okay, so let's go back. Somebody should do the number two for me. Can you put up your hands? So that I can call you. Yes. Number two. Anybody? Okay, so let me go there. Sylvia. Sylvia. Faustina. Faustina. Hey, they can't hear me, you all. Faustina. Okay, Esther. Sister. Yes. So number two is 20 divided by 100. No, please state the formula five. first. State the formula first. So is the number of women in a specific age mm -hmm. over number of women in the same age group times okay. thousand. Okay. So that would mm -hmm. be 20 from 20 to 24 years. We had live birth of 20, then mm -hmm. the total of 100. Okay. So 20 divided by 100 times 1,000, mm. which is giving us 
200 per thousand. State your answer well. Per thousand beds. Per thousand beds. Within the age interval 20 to 24 years. Within the years. age interval 20 to 24 years. Thank you. Good. So you had you said you had uh, your answer. 200, please. Please, those of you who are typing for me in the chat box, I'm also following from there. Maybe your network is bad. If you type for me, I also follow from there. Okay. You said 200, right? Yes, please. Christian. All right, number three. Christian is not doing uh, uh, his work today. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we are on the number three. Um, who is this? Hey, this name I remember. Is it Ham Shawa? Oh, he's gone. Lillian. Please, madam, there. Okay. Is this Lillian? No, this lady is Ham Shaw. Ham Shaw. Okay, let's go. Yes. Mm. Please, from age uh, 25 to 29. All right. You have the, uh, the Zoom slide. Okay, uh huh. Okay, we have uh, the number of uh, births to be 25. Mm -hmm. So divided by 120. Mm. That's the total mm. number of births times mm. thousand births. Mm. And that will give you 208.33 per thousand. 200 and your line is breaking. 208. Okay. 0.33 per thousand beds within the age of 20, 25 to 29. Good. Okay. So 208. Let's put it there because the other one is not even up to this mark. Okay, thank you. Okay, number four. Number four. Please, if you have answered a question, can we put your hands down so that I can call others? Come for Tina Yes, sister. Yes, sister. I wanted to know how we got the total in nine after the yeah, after the total number of deliveries. I didn't get the total. How we got it. So I wanted to. Oh, the total population. The total population. We said you can get it from your district assembly with population census, women within this age. And it's in our office, uh, uh, hospitals. You can get it from the record. Others are saying they get it from uh, LCH. And then Edith even tell Edith, where did you get your. Edith was also telling her you got it. So it depends where you can go for your total population. Don't worry, I'm going to give you an assignment. So you have to oh, go okay. for your total population, either from your hospital, the hospital, the uh, those who are doing the biostats, they have the records. Oh, okay. Um, I, okay. I saw you um, like writing 80, 100, 120, so oh. I didn't know how you get them. It's either um, you get it. Okay, so now you get it. So do the number four for us. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> so sister, the number four is 25 times 120. Hey, that one is number three. Hey, 15 times 120 divided by 1,000. Hey, 15. Comfort, are you looking well? Hey. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. 15 times mm -hmm. 155 mm. divided by 1,000. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Which will give us? Oh. I have not calculated it yet. It means you don't have a calculator. No, sister. Hey. Hmm. So it's more that we are doing. You are not calculating some. Don't worry. Let me call Shahada. Happy. Dawuda. Sister. All right. So give us the form. Now the my form. So it's mm -hmm. 15 by 155,000. 
and mm -hmm. it gives us the 96.77 per thousand beds. What will be the answer? Hello? What will be the answer? It's 96.77 per thousand beds. Okay, so the you can run it to this man. Ages from 30 to 34 years. Good, so you are not stating your answer well. By 155,000. Okay. And it gives us the necessary point. Seven. Okay, so you can even make it. Remember, we are. Hello, remember we are dealing with human beings, so 96. 97, because the other one is the 0.77. Okay, so um, number five, somebody should do the number five for us. Deborah. Debbie. Sister, the right, number so five, mm -hmm. we are taking the age, the age interval of 35 to 39. So it okay. will be 12, 12 mm -hmm. divided by 200 mm -hmm. times 1,000. Mm -hmm. So the answer will be, because I'm calculating it. Yeah. The answer will be 60. 60, 60. per mm -hmm. six zero. 60 mm -hmm. per 1,000 of women within the age group of 35 to 39. 60 per 1,000 bet within the age interval. 35 to 39 oh, years. 39. Thank you. All right, then do the rest for us. Do the number six. Okay, Agi. Agi no, okay, is number, Let's Agi okay. do that. Agnes. Yes, yeah, sister. All right, so do the number six for us. This number six, the formula we already know is number of live births to women in specific age group. And the specific age group is 40 to 44, mm. divided by the number of women same age group times thousand. Okay. So the number of live births to be mm -hmm. one. Okay. So one divided by mm -hmm. two fifty mm -hmm. times thousand. Mm. That is four. So the okay. number the answer is four four per th uh, thousand births within the age Group of 40 to 44. All right. So do the number seven for us. And the number seven is two. We have the formula already. So two divided by 300. Two divided by 300 times 1,000, which is also 6.66. .66. So we run to get seven. So the answer is seven. The uh, seven per thousand beds within the ages of 45 to 49. Thank you. So, what would be the final answer? The final answer is going to be seven. We have 6.666, so we have seven. Okay, we are dealing with women being sent. We don't want to miss any figure, so we will just run it off. All right. Okay, thank you. You see, it's not difficult. I told you. Just calm down. We are not doing anything different from what we have been doing in the world. Okay. The calculation for the age-specific fertility rate. So when you get this, you add all of them together. So let's do the addition. Yes, let's add them together. Please, are we adding? Yes, sister. Please, which one are we adding? The age specific fertility rate. We are adding the age specific rate. The age, this one. We are adding this, please. 601. Good. All right. So let's go back. Now we said the age, we are going back to the total fertility rate. And we said the total fertility rate, the formula is the sum of age specific fertility rates. The sum of age specific fertility rates over 
mm, thousand. Okay, so the sum of all the age specific uh, specific rate times or multiplied by the age interval. So when you, to be able to calculate the total fertility rate, you should calculate the age specific rate. If not, you will not be able to calculate the total fertility rate. And so when you calculate, then you sum all of them together. Then you multiply by the age interval. And we said the age interval, most of the facilities are using five years. And that is what we are using, five years. Of, divided by 1,000. All right. So can somebody, OK, I think you got the formula now. So let's put it in. And then let's see the answer. Oh. Let's put it in and then let's see the answer. So when we add up, what was the figure? Six zero one. Six, zero, one. Okay, so six zero, right. one. six zero one times what was the age interval? Which age age interval? We use how many years? Five. 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 Six years. This time, five. Five. Yeah. It's five. It's five. Hey, ready, ready. <laughs> All right, so let's <laughs> times five. Let's do the calculation. Get the five. Five. Rush. Take your time. It's three zero zero five. So five. Three zero zero five. So five. Stop it. The line is break. Yes, please. What will, what will be your total answer? It's 3.0. Hey. Hey. Uh, this say is 3.01. Okay, so 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0. 3.0
factor or female factor affecting fertility. Then everybody should is supposed to give birth three, 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 three. three. Oh. So it means in such community that you are working, the population there will be growing is good because their fertility rate is very, very high. Mm. Please do understand. Yes, sister. Ah. So that would be the interpretation of your answer. Hey. <laughs> We knew, baby, I swear. Thank you, so <laughs> Hey, this is just the beginning. I don't know where we are going to. Because today we are in the third week. And I'm telling you, I'm still on slide one. <laughs> and then I so I'm supposed to go to slide two and three. We knew why yet. And then the day is over. Mr. Isifutu will call me to end up. And I need more time. Hey. <laughs> so you see, that is why I want us to join the class on time. On time. Because this is just the beginning. Hmm. Okay, so thank you very much. Assignment. Madam, wait. I have a question. I'm not leaving. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm giving assignments. I'm not going, please. So let's get the assignment. Okay, so assignment. Assignment number one. Okay, go to your facility. Go to your facility or your hospital if they save. Then calculate the total fertility rate for me. Either go to your, uh, uh, to calculate the total fertility. Don't go and copy the one that you're in charge has done, please. I need you to show working. Go and calculate your total fertility rate for me in your in your how do we do I have to say it in your districts where you are working. How do we even spare the district memory? Okay. Deadline for submission. A week today. Okay. A week today, you submit to my email address. So what will be today's week? Date, what will be the date? Oh, I should First give you two. Let me give you... Uh, so three weeks today. Eight. Three so weeks of October. Hey, today is Sunday. Uh, sister, it will be 14th October. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, so let's make it 14th. 14th. It's 15th. It's 15th. Okay. It's okay. 14th. 14th is okay. When we come on, when we come on the 15th, we will discuss. 2023. You know my email address already. Yeah, the, one using, the one that know. we are using, please, nobody should disturb us. We will take questions later. Let the, let's get the assignments right. Okay, so Hegabwaima at 36. You know my email address at gmail.com. Please, if we are doing, you are done with rotation, go back to where you did your rotation. Or you can join your friend in a facility, then you do the calculation for me. So go to your facility, calculate the total fertility rate for me in your in, 
from 1st January. Mama, boy. Hey. True. 31st December. Twenty twenty two. Full stop. Oh God, have mercy. All right. Let me increase the font size. Hmm. Okay, so now it's time to pick questions. Hey, my time is up. Hey, okay, so let me pick questions and then we call it a day. Please note the assignments. Paulina. Good morning. Please, I was trying to find out the grade that we got. Is it that for the whole specific age grade of the person, the person is supposed to give them to only three or within a particular period? I don't get what you are saying. The the two that we calculated and we landed at three as our number of children the person will be there to. I'm asking whether, like, from the person from the age fifteen up to the four to six years, the person yes, to those who are within the age that she gave us, that is the fifteen, fifteen to forty six years. I mean, from your 15 years to your 40, you will give them to only three children. Hey, Polena, <laughs> three is only. <laughs> I'm doing this one. No, we see, we, <laughs> hey, no, we see, when we calculate like that, it is giving us a general assumption that if all other things being equal, Polena, are you with me? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, and then if everything be all other things, if you don't have a challenge with your reproductive organ, if you don't have a challenge social factor that will influence your fertility, then those within this age group, all other things being equal, everybody should be able to give birth to three, three, three. Okay. Do you, do you understand? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, but you see, uh, uh, that is why we brought if are all other things being equal. Okay, but sometimes you may find out that others will give birth to one, others will give birth to even ten and cover us. Others will give so you understand. Okay, okay. Thank you. So so some 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 will give birth more, others will not even give birth at all, depending on the either the social factors or male or female fertility factors. Okay, but three is not small, Polena. Are you having are you having five or six? <laughs> <laughs> the way you know it's great. Okay, all right. Mm. <laughs> okay, so please, it's time. I have to go. Selena. Yes, sister. Please, my yes. mine is with regards to the, the total vet, the number of vets. You see, those okay. two of us are the, the sub districts. We refer most of our cases, the labor cases. To so, so you don't get a delivery at all. The person who asked the question. So you don't conduct delivery at the all. District. So at the end of the day, you end up getting few deliveries. And if no, you use that, why, 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 why do you refer to Avin, but you will not get data? Won't it affect our calculation? No, where do you refer the to? District. Do you refer outside your district? No, please, within the district. Within the district. But a district, yes, please. So you will still get your total delivery. If you refer, that is why we're a midwife. When you refer, you follow up, isn't it? So if it's in the same district, then you don't have a problem. But the challenge is that we do not have that, those that we have referred to are deliveries. You do, yes, because so you did not conduct the delivery. That's the why you didn't add it in your delivery book. No, you don't have to go there because that hospital yes. too will calculate the number of delivery and they will catch they will um, they will catch uh, 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 those people who came to deliver with them. So you calculate <laughs> the one that you have delivered. Are you with me? 
If we go and add them and they also do the calculation, then it will be double. Okay. Selena, do you get it? district has their own population, so you can use the sub-district population. Selena? Yes. Or I yes, yes. Uh -huh. they, will no, catch, they, they will do their calculation. They will capture those two. Oh. Mr. Isifu, please, I'm signing out too. Uh, please. Selena, are you okay? All right. Yes. Selena. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.